Florida man decides to beat up a black female inside of a store. Here it is. My goodness. She's trying to defend herself. Um, I'm going to give you some background to this insanity, okay? It took a while for the authorities to even arrest the white male who was engaged in this racially motivated attack. After the attack on Monday, May 16th, May 16th Raymond McCoy, 23 years of age, said she was left feeling dizzy. She had cuts and bruises on her face. All right, we're gonna show some of those. She went to a local hospital to get checked out. Uh, it was a brutal attack. Let's put up the picture of the guy who did it. His name is Kevin Williamson. All right, Kevin Williamson was the attacker. He appeared before a judge on the charge Saturday and was ordered to be held on a $20,000 bond and not to have any contact with the victim or witnesses or return to the gas station where the incident occurred. More background, McCoy said the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office responded and the clerk gave an officer the man's license plate number. Uh, the Jacksonville Sheriff, Sheriff Office said the investigation led to Williamson being identified as the man in the video. An arrest warrant was obtained through the state attorney's office and he was arrested on Friday. After the arrest was made, News for Jax looked into Williamson's background. Court records show he is a registered sex offender and had a repeat domestic violence injunction filed against him that was later dismissed. There were two aggravated assault charges, both were dropped. One of them was with a deadly weapon. They've been letting this guy get away with things for years. After the arrest was made, all right, uh, they looked into the record. They got uh, racist remarks on the record. I know you couldn't hear it on the video. Uh, but because of those racist remarks made by Williamson, some have asked whether the battery should be considered a hate crime. Now, obviously it should, right? On the report, the sheriff's office wrote, there was no hate crime. Attorney Randy Reap, who is not affiliated with the case, said it's up to the state attorney's office to decide if they'll pursue that uh, charge. Reap said they'll interview witnesses and in two or three weeks, the state attorney will decide on the final charges. He says, not to be surprised if this case is bumped up to a felony, all right? Um, according to the narrative, uh, this was racially motivated because of the words he decided to utter, slurs against the woman he was attacking. These are not complex problems, all right? Charge the person with a hate crime, it's a hate crime. Individuals who we elect to these various prosecutorial roles are supposed to understand complex problems. This is a simple one. They're supposed to solve very complex things based in legal issues. This is a simple one. But time and time again, it seems as if the simple ones that we get, you get, are all of a sudden more complex to individuals who are in power and authority. All right, we're gonna follow this. A story to its completion. Um, we are hoping that full justice will be served, and we are calling on the state attorney's office to file felony charges because what you saw was absolutely a felony. And let's be very clear: black women are not protected in this country like they should be. They are not. The fact that we even have to pose uh, the reality that a felony should be applied here that a hate crime aggravator should be applied here, gives you an idea of how difficult it is for black women to obtain justice when they are on the other side of a white man's fist, all right? JR, thoughts? When you're talking about how black women are not protected, that's 100% true and it's just, it's mm -hmm. born out in, in things like this that we always see. The first thing I thought was that that uh, young woman at McDonald's that was working a few years ago and that guy attacked yep. her and she got a couple licks in and the, the a couple. Yeah, true. She whooped his ass. <laughs> uh, I actually, funny note, I interviewed her on my radio show, uh -huh. uh, and she was a remarkable young person. But, but yeah. give her more credit than yeah. that, Jr. She true, but because the, the, the thing is, yeah, the, the credit was given for for doing that, and then there wasn't much talk about why yeah. this is allowed to happen in the first That's place. Where right. she has 
it looked like she had to be in those situations before where she has to defend herself. Mm -hmm. That's right. Uh, so when those things happen, the reasons why these cops find this very straightforward, or whoever pro the prosecutors find this straightforward case so complicated is because no one's going to tell them, well, why didn't you take care of this? Mm -hmm. Because it's a society problem. Yep. We have an issue with making sure that certain folks are protected because they're not protected. And the folks and authorities in positions of power are like, well, why do I have to do anything? Nobody's going to care. Why should I care? They're just members of society. All police and prosecutors and anyone else, judges, all they are are citizens with a job to carry out. That's right. They have the same biases and, and influences from society like the rest of us do. Yeah. That's why we need more from different backgrounds. That's right. Very well said.